Well, it's, uh, that looks cold behind you, Helen, and it is cold. It is cold, Rita, and that cold air has put its feet under the table. It's here for a while. In fact, it's going to get colder. So we have all noticed the change in season, the change in the weather. But as I say, this week, cold is still widespread frost and the Met Office have already issued their first warning of disruptive snow, particularly in the north. I'll come to that in just a moment. The reason we're engulfed or we will be engulfed by that cold northerly wind right the way from the Arctic. But in the last couple of days, we've had this rather dull grey easterly wind dragging its showers into eastern areas along the south coast as well. But just the hint of that change to the north wind across the north of Scotland now through the remainder of the day. There, of course, is some sunshine, as you saw in the satellite picture as well, particularly Scotland, western areas. But temperatures are struggling now. We're back to the seasonal norm, perhaps just a little bit below six to nine degrees Celsius today. Overnight tonight, though, that northerly wind starts to make its presence felt more widely and breaks up the clouds. So the frost come the morning will be much more widespread, down to minus one, minus two, scraping the cars, I think, tomorrow morning. And a change in where we'll see our showers as well. But look at this, the blue, the frost is getting more widespread and deeper as well. So a more penetrating frost, particularly as the wind picks up later in the week. So some very icy cold weather to come, the coldest snap of the season so far and with it the risk of ice and snow for tomorrow though more sunshine the showers mostly of rain coming down from the north sea coast one or two for the north of northern ireland coming down the irish sea as well but by the end of the day certainly snow over the tops of the mountains at lower levels across the northern isles and temperatures will be a degree or two lower as well and that process continues as that feed of northerly winds enhances on wednesday so the wind strengthens as well so it can feel even bitter more bitter and the snow showers well start to become more significant more frequent heavier and hence that yellow warning from the met office disruptive snow blizzards as well because of the strength of the wind blowing that snow around and just look at the temperatures on wednesday i think it's cold enough now but three to five degrees celsius and feeling significantly cold and of course that very frosty start to contend with both wednesday and indeed thursday morning little fly in the ointment on thursday we really need to watch this because the air is cold so wherever those showers come in land they could well fall as snow no, not just Thursday, but uh, beyond that, Friday into the weekend. Rita. Thank you, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Hello. It uh, certainly feels as if winter has arrived. We've noticed the change in season and it's going to get colder still over the coming few days. By day and night, snow is likely initially across the north, but widespread frosts for all. And the reason is a change in wind direction. It's already felt chilly enough with this easterly wind, but we're now going to change to a northerly wind right the way from the Arctic and that'll engulf the whole of the United Kingdom, much of northern Europe as well over the coming few days. So, so nighttime frost become more widespread. Certainly Tuesday morning, a colder start to the day. Wednesday, colder still as that frost becomes more widespread and it gets sharper, that frost. Temperatures are dropping successively by night over the next three or four nights. So widely frosty, risk of ice, of course, where we've had showers and that no exception as we start Tuesday. The showers, though, different distribution as the winds switch around to the north. So northern and eastern Scotland down towards the borders, eastern parts of England, East Anglia, perhaps fewer showers than Monday in the south and fewer for the east of Northern Ireland and more sunshine but still cold five to eight degrees Celsius already a little bit below the seasonal average. By the time we get to the end of Tuesday that northerly wind is right the way across us and that cold wind strengthens as you can see further north so it'll blow in more snow showers by the time we get to the overnight period of Tuesday into Wednesday so it could be quite icy Wednesday morning and that snow just continues to fall across Scotland to progressively lower levels because the air is that much colder so already a Met Office warning out for up to 10 centimetres of snow and with those strong winds locally it'll blow around so blizzard conditions too and of course icy further south yes there'll be a few showers draped across eastern areas down the west coast as well into the north of Northern Ireland but actually a good deal of dry bright but cold weather only two to five degrees Celsius and feeling a lot lower than or colder than that in northern east areas because of the strength of that wind which keeps blowing those showers in during Wednesday night and into Thursday and the question mark then lies is where this weather front will come to lie 
It could well spread a smattering of snow showers across England and Wales on Thursday with some dry weather in between. There's quite a bit of uncertainty surrounding that forecast, but only two or three degrees Celsius. So if we do get showers, they are like to be a wintry flavour in land around the coast, perhaps some hail and some thunder as well. It's a similar scenario on Friday as we get that northerly wind blowing showers into both eastern and northern areas and down into western parts of Scotland, England and Wales, parts of Northern Ireland as well. A really cold and chilly day once again. And beyond that, it looks as if we'll keep that brisk north to northwesterly wind, low pressure close by for the east, and also picking up that moisture off the Irish Sea and bringing the risk of snow showers into other coastal areas. And if we do get any weather fronts with those weather systems, they will push snowfall inland. Low pressure close by through Saturday and into the weekend, as you can see. The high pressure, though, keeping those winds down from the north, that high pressure to the west of us. So it does look as if we go into next week with the same cold air embedded across the UK. Cold by day, cold by night, that wind chill, a real factor, bitterly cold feel for many, and that risk of further snow. Warnings are online.